<clears throat> hey there, ladies and gents. I'm Beastcore935. For returning viewers, welcome back. For new viewers, welcome to my channel. This is a new series that I followed up a couple weeks ago. I call it the History and Lore. Basically, the premise of this new series that I will is that I will put a continuity of media of, you know, like movies, video games, books, comic books, maybe TV shows, who knows, ETC, and put them all in the events of chronological order and overall explain the setting and story. Now, I know what you're thinking. Explaining and making a chronicle of a story? That's not very original. I know a lot of YouTubers that do that. And you're right. This isn't very original. After all, channels like Suggestive Gaming have been doing it for a while and other similar content. I enjoy their videos very much since they do an awesome job at this, and they even inspire me to do this too. But I decided to take it up a notch and not only just detail the entire continuity and chronological order, but also detail where their place is and how they affect their respective universes across timelines, altering universes and dimensions that divide them up. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've noticed how loosely and carelessly the label of multiverse and or multiverse <laughs> Has been being has, is being tossed around nowadays, um, being tossed around nowadays, and how places they've been putting in all that stuff. And I really hate the way that they do it because it's so damn lazy. They just see like a uh, directors or producers or whatever just see a plot hole or something that they create themselves, and then they just go like, "Oh, this happened because this happened because because of an altering universe or." Uh, just a timeline shit or whatever. Honestly, to me, it sounds really lazy of the way they handle it. It's basically them. It's basically just putting up a middle finger and just going like, just going like, it happens because I said so. And what I say goes, which I'm like, hell no, dude. Be more responsible than that shit. Ugh, honestly, I hate that. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much how just it's going to go. So right now, I'm going to show you how it works. Now, a fun little theory that I like to put up on is I theorize that our real life universe, you know, the one that we live in right now, like this very moment, is Universe Zero, the original universe. And I believe our universe is the reason why the multiverse exists. Think about it for a second. If it weren't for all these content creators, authors, storytellers, writers, producers, directors, you know, like all those who create shit, um, these universes would never exist in the first place, or at least we never would have known that it even existed at all. The, I, I know this sounds like a bold claim and it pretty much is, but uh, I'm, this is not really something to be taken seriously. This is like something I like to I like to think about, and it kind of just it's like my own fun little theory. You don't have to take it seriously. I don't expect you to, but it's like something to play around with, or play around with, you know. Um. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's not like something to be taken seriously. I'm not, to, not about to start like going crazy and just going to like a random street corner, just going like, oh yeah, so uh, this is what used to be happening and all that stuff. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not fucking saying like that. But anyways, in order to like make this as organized and simple as I possibly can, I'll divide these the events of a multiverse into three main categories throughout the series. Timeline, universe, and dimension. Let's go over them real quick. Now, uh, like I said, I was about to go over these three, um, the three guidelines of how this series is generally going to work. And I know I spelled guidelines wrong, <laughs> but that's not what's important here. Uh, let's start with timeline first. So we got timelines. A timeline um, is basically a steady and constant time stream filled with historical recollections of past, present, and future events in its respective universe. Should anything change within the original timeline, this will create a divergence from the original timeline and create an alternate timeline from which the point of a divergence onward. Any other events that affects the future of the diverted timeline will be restricted to that timeline only. With the exception of a wormhole that connects the original timeline and a diverted timeline, or two sets of points in time in the same timeline, which could directly affect each other without creating an alternate timeline. Uh, that's basically how I view it. Then we have universes. Uh, uni other universes is an alternate universe that may share similar characteristics to our own or differentiate from our own in many different ways. 
on how that universe was created or an event that causes divergence from its reality on, from our own, which in return separate itself from all our universes. So basically, think of like movies, TV shows, that's basically it. It's not that hard to figure out, but that's pretty much like clarification. Then we got dimensions. A dimension is a reality which exists with radically different laws of physics, nature, and or reality. Dimensions can sometimes host a self-contained universe, but some, if not the majority of them, will be a void or sort of barrier with its own laws in mind for its own existence. Uh, we'll, uh, that's basically the gist of it, but I'll go into more detail on how it is in uh, these next slides. As a matter of fact, we'll start with uh, timelines. So, uh, this arrow represents the normal time stream, right? So, the series I'm going to be using an example for here is the Sniper Elite series. We got Sniper Elite, the original, Sniper Elite V2, 3, 4, and 5, the recent one in the series. Um, as we all know, in canon, uh, this game exists in the, in the time of World War II from our original timeline. So we have from when uh, World War II originally started, which was 1939, to all to where it ends in 1945 and the year after 1946 now i'm including that for a reason i'll get to in a sec so we know that we know that historically this is how it goes right um in the order of release it was sniper elite the original sniper elite v2 the sniper elite 3 then 4 then 5 and so on and so forth uh order of release that's how it goes but in canon and reality Sniper Elite 3 is first before the other games because it's known that it takes place in 1942. With Sniper Elite taking place in 1943, Sniper Elite 5 known to be taken in 1944, and Sniper Elite Original and V2 taking place in the same year but different months. Sniper Elite taking place in April 1945, and Sniper Elite V2 taking place in May of 1945. So that's pretty much the gist of how normal time stream goes now how now here is where i'm going to show how i'm going to divide up divergence of timelines so rebellion on top of making sniper elite they also known to make the sniper i mean not sniper the zombie army trilogy and zombie army 4 dead war so we got these two right here now they've confirmed themselves that canonically sniper, zombie army trilogy uh the se zombie army zombie army series takes place in an alternate timeline from the original uh, from the original Sniper Elite, but it all takes place in the same universe because it has the same characters and, ev and events all the way up until the divergence. So we have the normal flow of time all the way up until September of 1945 where divergence occurred, where instead of Hitler, um, you know, like dying or however he died in World War II, instead, in this diverted timeline, it just created a, an event where instead of him dying, he initiated Plan Z, which in turn raises the dead and all that stuff. So instead of World War II ending in September 1945, although it technically ended, this started a new war, the Dead War, which fought, which kept going all the way up until 1946, the year after World War II was supposed to end. And yeah, this is pretty much the gist of how I'm going to lay it out in the across the videos. Um, obviously, this I just did this as an example. I wasn't really trying to go into too much detail, but uh, as I continue on with this series, I'm going to be a lot more detailed with this. Um, yeah, I'm going to try my best, but this is, this is just an example of how I'm going to try things out. All right, so on to this next example. So we got universes. Now, for what I'm going to use as an example for the universes is the Marvel Multiverse. By created by uh, created by Stan Lee, God bless him. So we have the main Marvel universe, right, which is Earth six one six, not the MCU. Then we have the MCU, which is Earth one nine 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 nine. But you know, Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Strange says that oh, you know, fucking MCU is Earth six one six. I'm not considering that as canon because I don't know what the hell um, I don't know what the hell Kevin. Uh, Grage, whatever his name is, is doing, but I'm not considering that as canon, at least not yet. Uh, then we have the Marvel Ultimate Universe, which takes place in Earth 1610, 
Then we have the Marvel Zombies universe, which takes place in Earth 2149. Now, the obvious differences from all these universes is how they diverge from each other. You can know like the obvious differences just from the number of the universe alone. Earth 616 is where the majority of source material comes from. Uh, Earth, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, you know, live action goodness where, like I said, a character is people who portrayed by voice actor, just pages and all those so portrayed by actors who, in that universe, actually are those people. Uh, in the Ultimate Universe, it's somewhat similar to Earth, the main Marvel Universe, but most of, most if not the majority of, you know, characters or organizations, whatever, like whatever's been created in that universe has reimagines or remakes of origins. Like, they, their origins are not the exact same as the source material. It's It was born differently, as a matter of fact. is how you can perceive it. The Marvel Zombies universe is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically the, all the Marvel universe's superheroes and or supervillains, but, you know, as zombies. Uh, here, the hunger virus exists that caused all the heroes to turn into zombies, which is obviously different from this, you know, the main universe. They never interact, however, but they do travel to other universes and dimensions. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much how how they directly differentiate from each other. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. And how I'm going to organize it. Obviously more detailed, but that's pretty much an example of what I'm going to do. Uh, let's look at the last one. Dimensions. Now, as for this first example, I'm going to use... Uh, our normal real life in heaven and hell is an example. So it is commonly believed in religion. It's commonly believed in religion that when someone dies, they go to heaven or hell based on the person they were. If they're, it's commonly believed that if you were like a really good person, a saint, then you go to heaven. Or if you're a really horrible person, then you go to hell. The reason why I section them off as dimensions, I, you know, using this as an example, I'm not trying to be too religious here, but it's obvious that the, you know, Earth is known as, I mean, not Earth, Hell is known as like a fiery landscape where it's nothing but suffering you burn alive, or Heaven is known as the paradise, you know, every, where everything you ever could possibly want is there. But that's how it is. And it's known that you can't go to these places by traditional means. Like, you can't just walk there, run, go there by bike, by driving there, flying there, nothing like that. You have to die, and then your soul gets transferred to, gets transferred to either one of those realms, and that's how it works. Is So, the barriers that divide them up can only be transferred by a specific way or spe special gateway, i.e. dying and having your soul transferred to heaven or hell. Uh, another example I want to use is how the mirror dimension and a dark dimension from the Marvel multiverse works. So it's pretty well known that Doctor Strange can access them with his ring portal. You know, like like just making a portal and just going through it to access the mirror or dark dimension. But there's also special ways that you can enter either the mirror dimension or dark dimension that they can't they can't be used by other means. So, the mirror dimension has been shown they can access it with using mirrors and magic. And the mirror dimension also works in the, with the laws of geometry. So, you know, like not everything is right there because it's not supposed to be right. It exists like that in order to sustain itself. And the dark dimension can be accessed via, you know, dark magic or dark gateways. And the way, and it seems like, the way, you know, the laws of nature within it exists is that it mainly thrives off of dark magic or dark energy and all that stuff. And stuff. And that's how it exists and stuff. That's how it sustains itself. It thrives off of dark magic and anyone else who wishes to do that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, of how I'm going to display dimensions as well. All right. Well, that's pretty much, that's just about everything I wanted to cover this is basically how I'm going to take this series here on out and all that stuff. This video was meant to, was meant to be like a guide of how, like how, like I view this and how I'm pretty much going to take this and, you know, like work with it as I go on with other media. Um, not, I'm pretty sure not every single media I'll cover will cover all three 
you know, like, and we'll cover like, um, like timelines, universes, and dimensions all in like once. But it's safe to assume that most of the all of them will cover at least two or all three. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much basically the gist of it. I hope you like my unfortunately long rant of how the series will go. Uh, stay tuned for the first thing that I'll be covering will be one of my favorite series that spans across two books, a comic book, a movie, and a video game. Uh, thank you guys very much for your support, and I hope thanks for very much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all later.